So the chord track might be my favorite feature inside of Studio One, and as far as I know, it's the only DAW that does something like this. In this video, I wanna show you exactly how to use the chord track and how it can speed up your workflow. Let's jump right in. Hey, before we get started, I wanna encourage you to download my free five-step home recording guide. What it is, it's basically a quick step overview process for how to write, record, mix, and master a really great song. So you can get that by clicking the link in the description below or visiting millermusic.co. Okay, so step number one is to set up your chord track. And by the way, uh, you're gonna need Studio One Professional in order to use the chord track. So what you're gonna do is go up to here, there's like on the top left, there's like this global track visibility. You click on that and then you select chords. And that's gonna open up the chord track, which is right up here. Um, and then the second step is basically to drag in an audio track or a MIDI track and Studio One automatically detects what chords are in that track. So uh, for example here, I have a piano loop and um, or a piano part for the verse and I'm gonna drag this audio in and it, you'll see the plus button come up and then Studio One auto, automatically detects the chords and there it is, those are the chords. It's, it's totally amazing. So let's give it a listen. Um, and by the way, if you click this, the chord display, it'll actually play the chords as they're going by. So let's listen. So it's, it's totally amazing. Um, it, it plays it in white for like the chord it's on and then it shows you the next chord coming up. Now, the next thing that you can do to use the chord track in your productions is actually to drag those tracks back into a MIDI track. So now if I select all of these, I'll use the select tool and I'll drag or select all of these chords here. And then what you can do is drag them back into a MIDI track. So we'll go down here and then it'll automatically put the chords back into this MIDI track and it's just kind of mind blowing. And then let's solo out this track here so we can hear it. So you can use that, you can you know use whatever instrument you want um, and you can edit the notes, you can edit the inversions or um, you know, even change the octaves, you know, anything you can do with MIDI at that point. Now, the other way to, to create a chord tracker to, is to manually um, add in the notes. So let's, let's go over to here and let's just manually add them. So you're going to click uh, a chord in right here and then you can double click on that chord and it opens up the chord selector. And uh, this, if you want to select any chord, so like Right now, D flat is selected, but let's say we wanted a, a G flat minor. It would go there. Well, it even has like major, minor, diminished, augmented, suspended, really any triad you want. And then you can also add the interval over here of sevenths, um, ninths. Um, so that's, that's a really, really powerful kind of feature that you can add right in there. I hope that helps you to make music faster and be more organized in your project using the chord track. Don't forget, I encourage you to download my free five-step home recording guide. You can get it in the link below and I'll see you in the next video.